In this tutorial, we shall be learning about control plus arrow keys in Excel. We use this table for the examples. When I put the cursor here in the first cell that has data in this column, hold down the control key and click down arrow. It will take us to the last cell in the column that has data in it. Hold the control key and click the up arrow, it will take us back to the first cell in the column. If we hold the control key and click the right arrow, it will us to the last cell in the row that has data. Hold the control key and click left arrow, it will take us back to the first cell within the row that has data. Now I put my cursor in this column. You notice that we have blank cells within the column. Hold the control key and click down arrow. You notice that it stopped once it gets to the blank cells. The cursor can only get to the last cell with data before the blank cells. And if we put the cursor here, hold the control key and click the right arrow key, it will stop here that we have blank cell. If we hold the control key and click right arrow, it will go over the blank cells. It you see, we have more than one blank cell, it will just go over it once. Now, we put the cursor here that has no data. Hold the control key and click the right arrow. It will take us to the last cell in this row in the worksheet. If we hold the control key and click the left arrow, it will take us back to the first cell. If we put the cursor here, hold control and click the down arrow, it will take us to the last cell in the column. Hold control and click the up arrow to return to the first cell in the column. All these happened because there is no data in any cell in the column. It would have stopped where we have data. Hope you have gotten some value from this tutorial. If you did, please like, subscribe and share with friends and families. Have a great day.